This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 1, Number 103. Find the inverse of each function below. Use correct notation. Okay, so remember the inverse is we're looking for, if this is wrapping our function, we're looking at how to unwrap it, right? So our inverse, remember, is going to be f negative 1 of x for a. Here it's going to be g negative 1 of x. And for part C, it's going to be h, negative 1 of x. So that's the inverse function of f, the inverse function of g, and the inverse function of h. Okay, so remember how we do this. First, we want to look and see how we are creating or wrapping each function. So how is f of x formed? Right, how is it formed? Well, we start with y equals 2x. Then what do we do? We multiply by 2. Then we subtract 1. Then we take the third root. Right? So that's how we get our function f of x. So here's f of x. And then now to undo it, what do we have to do? We do the opposite. Right? We start with y equals x. Well, the opposite of the third root is going to be to the power of 3. The opposite of subtracting 1 is going to be adding 1. And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is going to be dividing by 2. So it's x cubed plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And so here's how we unwrapped our function. And I mean, here's how we wrapped it, and here's how we unwrapped it. So our inverse function is going to be x cubed plus 1 divided by Okay, so now let's go on to g of x and the inverse function of g. <clears throat> so how did we find, how was g of x wrapped? Okay, so we start with y is equal to x. Then we see we subtract 3. Remember, we do that before we hit the parentheses first. So y is equal to x minus 3. We subtract 3. Then we multiply by 1 half. or we divide by 2, you could say it either way, and then we add 1. Okay, so that was how we wrapped g, and how we unwrap it. We start with y equals 2x again, and what's the opposite of adding 1? Well, we subtract 1. What's the opposite of multiplying by 1 half, or dividing by 2? We multiply by 2 over 1, right? That's going to be y is equal to 2 times x minus 1. Or you could say you divide by 1 half. That's the same thing. Because if you have a number, you divide by 1 half. That's equal to that number times the reciprocal, which is times 2, right? And finally, what's the opposite of subtracting 3? Well, we want to add 3. Okay. Oops, I moved the parentheses in the wrong spaces. 2x minus 1 plus 3. Okay, and we can simplify this, right? Simplified, we know is just y is equal to, we distribute that 2, 2x minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. Okay, we could write it like this, or we could write it like this. Okay, same thing. Just want to make sure everyone is aware that these, when we simplify this, we get 2x plus 1. Now we're on part C, h of x. Well, h of x of x, how do we create that? We basically, we start with y equals x. Then we take x to the power of 3 over 2, right? So then we have y equals to x to the power of 3 over 2. And then we multiply by Okay, so what are we doing when we are unwrapping this? So that's how we wrapped it. Again, we start with y equals to x. The opposite multiply by 2 is divide by 2. And what's the opposite of the power of 3 over 2? Yeah, well, what is the opposite of the power of 3 over 2? So we're going to do the opposite of the power of 3 over 2. So let's talk about that really fast. Okay, so we know x to the 3 over 2 
is the same thing as x to the 1 half cubed. So maybe we should have broken it up this way because we know that is the square root of x, right, cubed. So if we broke it up a little more, we might see that what we're doing is we're taking a square root and then we're cubing, right? And if we do the opposite of that in the, op in the same order, we know we want to do the opposite of cubing would be the cube root and the opposite of squaring would be, I mean, the opposite of square root would be squaring. So that would be cube root of x squared if we're starting here doing the opposite, right? So what is that equal to? Well, the cube root of x, remember, is the same thing as writing x to the one-third squared. So that's equal. And that's equal to x to the power of two-thirds. Okay? So if you see, the opposite of x to the power of three-halves is x to the power of two-halves. You see how these are opposites? You just take the reciprocal of the power, and that's going to make it opposite. Okay, so the opposite of x to the 3 halves is going to be to the power of 2 thirds. Okay, so that's, that's, that's what we did each step. And we get x over 2 to the power of 2 thirds. All right, so that is our inverse function of h. All right, so this ends CPM Precalculus Chapter 1, number 103.